Shout out to Brown, Aaron. Enjoy your boy Money Brown. He get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. Yeah. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy, Monty, back with another one, man. And this one here is on two big dogs in this boxing game. We have Canelo Alvarez, the hottest Mexican fighter on the planet, the four-division world champion, and the current unified super middleweight world champion, looking to be the undisputed champion at super middleweight when he take on Caden Plant, who is the IBF champ. Then we have Oscar Valdez, the two-division world champion, and the current WBC junior lightweight world champion who just popped dirty, right, under bottom. You know, the Boston Clean Boston program has caught him. But this is the thing. Why the fuck is everyone blaming Canelo for what Oscar Valdez did? Huh? Why are y'all blaming Canelo Alvarez? This is the hate that goes on in this boxing game, right? Now, we all know Canelo um, is a staple made of Oscar Valdez. We all know Oscar Valdez is now with the Reno Souls, things of that nature. But Canelo is not his motherfucking handler, bro. You feel me? Canelo don't hang out with Oscar Valdez every day. Now, like I said, we know Canelo has a fight coming up with Caitlin Plant. He's trying to fight for Undisputed. Well, not trying. He's going for Undisputed. In a big-time fight, November the 6th. November the 6th. One of the biggest fights of his career. You know what I mean? About to make history. One of the biggest fights of his career, bro. So, why are y'all trying to bring the negativity towards Canelo Alvarez? That's just the hate, bro. Per hate. Now, Oscar Valdez, he is on, man. We know he's training with Avery Noso. He just knocked out Miguel Burchett in his last fight. He knocked out Miguel Burchett in spectacular fashion in his last fight. And guess what? They was drug tested because Burchett was a WBC champion. And um, Oscar Valdez had to enroll in the body clean boxing program. So, y'all can't come and say, well, Oscar popped. He, he cheated against uh, Miguel Burchett. This, that. We, don't, we can't really say that because... Did not come dirty in, in, in that fight. So you got to give him his credit in that fight. Now, leading up to Robinson, um, Casio, my guy, the, the Brazilian I was telling y'all about that stuff that he was facing on, in September, you know, now that's some bullshit because it fucked him out of an opportunity to fight for the WBC. So Oscar Valdez has to take this and he has to man up for this shit. He has to man up for it. You feel me? One hell of a fighter still. Right, can't take a skill set away from them. like I said about every other fight they get popped. They do have a special skill set that, that it takes to be a top at, at the fight game. But if you pop, bro, you pop, right? But why are y'all steady trying to blame Canelo? This just the hate and the bullshit that goes on in this game, bro. The hate and the bullshit. Now, we all know Canelo's situation with the Cambruta Raw against Triple G in the first fight. Now, I mean, Canelo came out, he manned it up, he said he didn't know what he put in his system, but he's not gonna shy away and shit like that. He let people know that he, you know, voluntarily signed up uh, for the Vada Clean Boxing Program. Voluntarily. Before this shit happened. You know what I'm saying? Before it happened. That's what y'all don't know. Canelo been rolled um, in a fucking, um, the, the clean program, bro. So when the looking brutal raw shit came out, you know, he was just as shocked as everybody else. He was just as shocked. But y'all cats trying to use that shit to try to say, well, we told y'all Canelo was cheating. Look, Oscar Valdez got caught. That's the Reynoso camp. Yeah, them all, all them boys over there cheating. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Canelo is a clean fighter. Quit trying to, you know, put other people's shit on him, right? Oscar Valdez has to man up to his own mistakes. He got to man up to his own mistakes. Like I say, Canelo is not monitoring his man 24-7 everywhere he go. Eddie Reynoso is not monitoring this man 24-7 everywhere he go, right? Oscar Valdez is a grown-ass man. He chose to do what he did, and now he got to suffer the consequences, right? So the fight is off, I'm assuming. Things of that nature, which is fucked up, because I was looking forward to that fight. I felt like Oscar had a tough fight on his hands, right? Um, we seen Jamel Hearn come out and say a diuretic is used to, um, you know, flush out other things that's in your system. Right, so he's alluding to that um, Oscar was cheating and that, you know, he was using that to flush his system out. And he still said he got to be held accountable. He, did, he didn't try to, you know, sugarcoat shit or things of that nature. But, you know, I want people to stick to Oscar Valdez, bro. Stick to Oscar Valdez. Why the fuck are y'all trying to connect Canelo to this shit? That's just a hate, bro. Really is, dog, And it's pathetic.
is pure pathetic. Now, Mike Carpenter came out, y'all, says, sources, Oscar Valdez has tested positive for a diuretic, a banned substance. He's scheduled to defend his 130-pound title versus Robinson Casaseo on September the 10th in the ESPN Plus main event. That was his A sample. The test was conducted by Vada, part of the WBC Clean Boxing Program. So that's what happened to him. Jameer Hearn came out and said, educate yourself for a moment. A diuretic banned substance are commonly used to flush out all other banned substances, not just cutting water weight. As a fellow champion, I respect Valdez, but this is hard to ignore, right? So they trying to say that it was to cut the water weight down and things of that nature um, and not flush out nothing else. So listen, we don't know. I don't know. All I know is he got caught for the diuretic. It was a, it was a banned substance. And now Oscar Valdez has to, you know, whatever the fine is or whatever the penalty is, he's going to have to take that. But quit trying to connect Canelo and, and Eddie Reynoso to what Oscar did and saying, oh, well, that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing over there. You feel me? Cut the bullshit. Cut the bullshit. Canelo has nothing to do with what happened today, bro. Nothing. Nothing. You feel me? Canelo about to go into that fight November the 6th. Canelo was a clean fighter. We all seen that ever since that little punk ass little um Clint Bruderall shit, enough that wasn't the 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 amount that got caught in him that wasn't enough to help a fucking ant do nothing. And we all know how small an ant is. And then he came back in the second fight and beat the shit out of fucking um um Triple G. Gennady Golovkin. Walked his ass down, beat him down, took his world title, and knew motherfuckers. And new, don't forget that he took Triple G titles in that second fight. Yeah. Give um, Canelo all his credit and his just due, bro. Give him his credit and all his fucking just due. I knew Kess was going to try to come with this shit. I knew they was going to try to come and try to, oh, man, we told y'all Canelo and him over there doing that bullshit. Uh, we told y'all they was doing this, they was doing that. Like I'm telling y'all, Canelo is not responsible for that, man. And I'm going to continue to scream it. Feel me? To the mountaintops if I have to. Y'all gonna stop hating on greatness, bro. Y'all gonna get Canelo his fucking just doing his flowers while he hurt. Not when he lead the game. Not when he lead the game. Y'all boys gonna give him his motherfucking just do and his flowers while he hurt. You understand me? Because the boy is doing great things out here in this boxing world, bro. He doing great things. And now he ain't about to make history against Cato Plant. Against Cato Plant. The motherfucker that y'all say he was scared of and ducking. He ain't want no parts of. He trying to get out the fight. He trying to put too many things in the contract. He knew this already. He, he clout chasing Cato Plant name when he the biggest fucking name in boxing. You feel what I'm saying? So y'all boys, man, listen. I already knew this was coming, but I was prepared for you motherfuckers. You understand me? I was prepared. Y'all ain't fit to use this narrative to try to paint a picture on Canelo like he's a dirty motherfucker. Nah, y'all better use this shit and talk about Oscar Valdez. You know what I mean? Oscar Valdez had to explain this. This is Oscar Valdez's problem. He got caught up in that rapture. You feel me? He got caught up in that rapture. He's going to do a press conference. He got to talk about what the fuck happened and how he put that in the system and what was going on. You understand me? He had to suffer the consequences. Whether it's a healthy fine or if it's of him getting stripped of his title or of him getting suspended for how many um, months in his boxing game, Oscar Valdez got to deal with that pain. He got to deal with that shame. Not Canelo. And y'all not going to put that on Canelo. You feel me? Y'all not going to put that on Canelo. Hell to the no, no, no. That ain't fit to happen, partner. That ain't fit to happen. Canelo coming clean. Canelo's doing what he got to do. Canelo is the WBC champion. Canelo been in the fucking Vada Clean Boxing Program. Canelo been getting tested, right? He's been getting tested, right? No fucking scandals or nothing out of this dude. Only thing that happened to him was the fucking Clint Bruder all this shit. And that shit has gone over 20 times ago. Right? He did so much shit about that shit, you can't even, not even worrying about that shit. Only person worrying about that looking brutal raw shit is the haters and the naysayers. The motherfucker who try to use it over his head to try to say, oh, well, you can never be great. You can, man, get out of here with that shit. The dude is a bad boy, man. The dude is a bad boy, bro. And I'm continuing to give him his credit. I'm continuing to give him his just due. Ain't none of y'all cats going to stop me from doing that. Right? Because the dude earned that. And the dude deserved that, bro. He deserved it. So stop trying to use other people's problems and put that shit on Canelo. He's not responsible. 
You feel me? He's not responsible. And y'all not going to make him responsible. Y'all not going to shame him. Y'all not going to make him feel bad. Y'all not going to try to drag his name through the mud. Y'all not going to try to take his credit away from November the 6th when he BK the plant or none of this shit. Y'all just going to give him his just due and his credit when he become the first undisputed champion, the first undisputed Mexican champion, right, at the 168-pound division. All four titles, one face, one name, one champion, holding it down for the boxing game. You feel me? The last piece to the puzzle of this boxing game, undisputed at 168. Even the great Andre Ward never was undisputed at the 168. But Canelo Alvarez is about to do that when he take out Caden Plant. And yes, I do mean when he take out Caden Plant because he will defeat Caden Plant. You feel me? And y'all gonna get this man his just doing his credit and not try to hold this shit over his head. That's the nerd of y'all trying to paint. Y'all trying to take his credit away from undisputed now. You dirty dog motherfuckers. Y'all trying to take his credit away from Undisputed now. And Monty Brown ain't going to let that shit rock, bro. I, I'm not going to let that shit rock. So y'all can keep on trying. You motherfuckers going to keep on failing. And I'm going to keep on telling. You feel me? That's how this go go. So if y'all come out with some bullshit videos, I'll be back with some more. Period. Point blank, period. Canelo is a clean fighter once again. He has nothing to do with Oscar Valdez's business besides being his stable mate. And giving him a few pointers in that fucking boxing ring. That's it. That's all. You don't like it? Get the fuck on. Until then, Oscar Valdez, deal with your situation. Whatever they hit you with, take it like a man. Stand up. If you can prove that it was some bullshit, prove it. Canelo, go out there, do what you got to do, champ. Become the first undisputed champion at 168 pounds and ride off into glory. Until then, it's your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App. Trey Hamp to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.